Great scoop. Tell us more. Yeah, so, you know, Rivian is one of the most sort of eagerly anticipated EV makers, a potential competitor to Tesla. Uh, the company has raised $8 billion to date. In its last round, sources told us that it was valued at around $27.6 billion. These are big numbers for a company that is yet to build a single car. Its debut consumer EV is an electric pickup truck, which starts production in June and deliveries in June, and then an SUV, which starts deliveries in the US in August. It's backed by some big strategic names as well. Amazon and Ford are both strategic investors. T. Rowe Price, BlackRock are investors in the company. So, you know, going public was something that, that people had speculated would happen for Rivian. Uh, but now it seems like they're plotting a course in that direction uh, as soon as September. But, you know, sources, of course, underline that it could spill later into the year. Indeed, it could happen at the beginning of 2022. And talk to us about that valuation number. At least 50 is what they're saying. Yeah, of at least 50 billion, if not more than 50 billion. You know, it's... This is where we're at right now with electric vehicle companies and private and public markets. You know, Rivian is pre-revenue. We have no idea how many pre-orders it has. All we know, based on a conversation that I had with the CEO in December, is that the company is supply constrained through 2023. In other words, it has demand greater than the number of cars that it can build. But based on what they're going to build, there is a lot of excitement, right? I'm thinking mostly about North America, where 80% of new car sales are in the light truck category, pickup trucks large SUVs. If you look at the EVs out there, they're all small sedans, and that's why people are excited about Rivian's offering. And what does it mean here? Are they planning to do that here in Asia? What are their growth plans? And really also how far this company has come? Yeah, you know, they've been in stealth mode for a long time. They actually unveiled the product in 2018, but seven, had been working on it seven years prior to that. They've ramped up hiring in a big way. Headcount is now at 3,600. And even though they haven't even started building their EVs for the U.S. market yet, they're already talking about Europe and China. You know, the CEO, RJ Scarin, saying that he'd like to build a smaller form factor EV, basically a smaller car for the Chinese market, which is really hard to get your head around when we're not even, you know, seeing their vehicles in the roads here in the U.S. You you know, Amazon is another area that they're working hard on. They have an order from Amazon for 100,000 delivery vans, which they're going to roll out uh, starting at the end of this year. But they want to have 10,000 on the road by 2022. You know, those are some big names. They have a lot of capital and they've got a lot of sort of expertise. They've hired heavily in terms of former Tesla engineers and executives to get them up to speed. And I know that their investor base is very excited about the company.